Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is MG The Future. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. Today I'll be taking a look at a new plugin by the brothers over there at theloops.com. Um, this particular VST is called Urban Vault Solution and it's a $49 entry price for it. And basically it's a riff generator of the sorts or it's sound design in such a way that you use these type of sounds to create riffs. They even mention it in their description about what's going on. So you could generate choppy riffs, catchy rhythmic hooks or background rhythmic noises with dual pre that's designed for an easy question and answer type phrasing. Basically what we used to call back in the day when I started, call and response. And that's such a, such a beautiful technique that we used back then because you really didn't need to know chord progressions as much. It's one of the reasons why I learned a scale first and we just build these melodies and these phrasings within the scale that were really catchy and easy to do. And one thing I like about this particular VST is that they mentioned Timbo. Now I've known about the loops for a very long time. They've kind of been like my sleeper pick. Like um, back in the day when they first dropped Dangerous Drums, which was influenced by Danger Hands and Timberland style drum design, I went ahead and bought all of those. And then they did the Timberland ones and I went ahead and got all of those. So those are up there with my ancient Chinese secret packs. Now in this particular video, I'm going to try to use it and create something in that vein from back in the day. Hopefully. Um, the only problem that I have is that because of the driver I'm using for screen share, my latency is jacked up. All right. So the first things first, this particular VSC has the presets across the top. Here they are. There's about 91 of them. And the sound design aspect of this is really simple. So you have your main patch that's sampled or that you're playing. Then you can layer it with a different synthesized shape or so, like these. So if I hold this key, you hear the saw under it. If I remove it, it's just a flute, right? So that just gives it more analog feeling, a more taste, more flavor. And then on the right of that, you actually have these different effects that I've grown accustomed to doing in lo-fi. So these are different textures. So I'm gonna go through some of those. That's fire. Turn the attack up on it, the ADSR. So when you let go, you show your fire. This one looks like water. And what I'm doing is I'm clicking and I'm dragging up to give it level. So it just gives your tracks extra atmosphere or texture. It also has reverb, it looks like. Sounds really good. I would use flute run on a layer though. It reminds me of cardiac a little bit. Really nice. Let's see if I can actually record something like that with this latency. This latency is crazy. So really simple triangle type stair shape business going on. I'm gonna layer it up with something else. Getting this waviness happening. So I'm turning water off on my second preset. There's this modulation happening, which you can control up here. It's controlling the pan. I'm gonna do none. Yeah. Pharrell's guitar, lit. lit. Let me double that sound up and let me change this one instead. Let's put the record on it. Let's fix the timing because I kind of have to. Let's fix that end right there. Here we go. And one 
cool thing, now that I got the power to do a lot of this stuff, is the effects, because I'm going to have to separate those a little bit and split them up. Um, I like the binaural panner that comes with Studio One a whole lot. I was kind of sleeping on it, or I really didn't know what it was about, to be honest with you. Now I do, though. I'm woke now. So this thing allows you to pan things hard right and hard left for real. And that's exactly what I want to do. I keep that one centered. Now I'm going to do Atlas, just for a simple drum pattern. And for the drums, I'm actually going to make a new map. I'm going to create a new map. I'm going to call it the Loops. I'm going to use their drums. So you can see what those are about. The Glyph Drum. Da, da, da. Whoa. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got three of their kits currently on this system. I'll remove the Loops. I should be able to analyze this pretty fast. While that's doing that, Command-Shift-P for pattern mode. They put my pattern at the cursor, as it always does. Make sure I have 32 steps going. Done. Load map. New kit. So I'm right here with it. And my drums are a little bit too weak for my taste. Coming out of Atlas at that level. So I want to bump up the level a little bit. One of these VSTs are going to help me be great. I think it's Waves, right? Um, the DBX will work, but maybe towards the end. The 550 always works. The 2500 always works. Let's just get a drum preset. Change the threshold. So I got to line my kicks up with the rhythm of these since they're playing riff oriented. Real quick, let's mow through these real quick on Neutron. that I'm missing though to really take this home and that's always going to be voice the legends kit real quick that I made that's available on my website wink come on come on come on come on come on now what I want to do I think I want to take this string here and bounce it and there's something cool that I learned that I didn't know Studio One did in terms of their macros. So I'll move this back over. And there's a macro menu here somewhere, if I can find it. And there's one macro that does the reverse reverb for us. And I dag on there, lost my mind. Um, audio, apply reverse reverb under audio. It's a macro. So there's several functions at once. And now I can unmute this one. And I'm just going to use that audio part. Let me see what that sounds like. Yeah, we'll start it from there. Let's put a fade on that, make it a little bit smoother. Come on. Come on. 
But anyway, that is the Loops Urban Vault solution. It's $49. There's 91 presets, but they're doubled up because of the different effects and layering that it has. Um, fun fact, the guy who designed these sounds is also the guy that helped design the uh, Scott Storch Studio Linked VST. So he's influenced by the same generation of producers and the same way I came up, basically. So this is a really cool thing to have under your tool belt, especially if you inevitably have the Chad Hugo collection, which is now available in Splice. If you have my VA Legends kit, these are the type of sounds that go ideally with that kind of style of music. The club, the bounce, the Neptune slash Timberland influence. And if you grew up on them, this will be right at home for you. Comments, questions, or concerns, definitely leave them in the box below. Until next time, guys, peace.